morning, everybody. Uh, good to be with you guys on this daily devotional. Uh, this week we've been walking through uh, the Beatitudes, which we find in uh, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5. And uh, the, what I wanted to focus on this morning is uh, the line where Jesus says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Um, <clears throat> recently, throughout this, this uh, quarantine time, and my uh, daughter has been begging us, well, even before the past, past years, begging us for um, for a puppy. We we have a dog already; he's a great dog, um, and yet <clears throat> she has been lobbying for a friend for that dog. And so, after her persistence and after her continual lobbying, we just we we gave in and we 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 got a puppy. And um, it's been interesting. And what we've realized is that. Uh, as much as we want the puppy and our and our dog who's been with us for a while to be uh, friends, uh, that we find ourselves mostly trying to keep the peace because they're just very different and um, they're trying to figure things out and they find themselves in a lot of conflict, especially over bones and food. But the point is, as people, we have to navigate seasons of conflict almost daily. And the reality is Jesus is telling us, what does it look like to be uh, someone who is, is is blessed in doing that and, and how we do that and how we model God in that. And I think the beauty is that we see that in Jesus himself, right? We see that shalom is was restored through the cross, through Jesus coming, right? Through Jesus being with us. We saw, see Emmanuel, God with us. And we recognize that, that God met us where we are in our brokenness and in our enmity towards him, right? God, God came to us. He revealed to us our sin, revealed to us our, our uh, opposition to him, right? And he offers us peace and restoration and reconciliation is so that we can see shalom and ultimately uh, the, the, the shalom of, of the world uh, when, when Christ returns. Um, but as we navigate conflict, I think just a, a couple important things to recognize in uh, being a peacemaker rather than a peacekeeper, right? Peacekeeper um, can really be more of, of, of a real passive thing that doesn't actually deal with the root or never really addresses conflict. What it really does, it just kind of, is, it's an avoidance um, in a way. Or, or the opposite is we could be more of a, a, an attacker and just go after people. And, and it doesn't really resolve conflict the way that uh, it models what God has done through Christ. And so just for thoughts um, <clears throat> about this. It's first, you know, <clears throat> how can we glorify God, right? The first step is as we engage conflict, right? As we want to be a peacemaker, how do we glorify God in the situation, right? What, what is the best approach to glorify him, right? As he has, has, uh, has met us, how do we do that? Um, and then the second thing to think through is, you know, as, as Jesus talks about in Luke, is, is, is get the, the log out of your own eye, right? Let me first take that log out of my own eye, right? I have this, this huge plank in my eye. Um, how, do I, how do I take that out first before I, I go address this, this conflict or this, this hurt or, or whatever has happened and, and make sure that that thing's not you know, blocking my vision in any way? Um, the third thing is, is gently restore, right? How can I lovingly serve others by helping to take any responsibility in this conflict or anything that I've contributed. Maybe it is my sin that's played a role in this. And how do I go to, to try to um, restore that? And then lastly, um, go and be reconciled, right? Uh, go and be reconciled. How, how do I demonstrate forgiveness of God, right? The end of Jesus, that passage, it says um, that we be sons of God, right? So sons means that we reflect who the father is. So this morning, I don't know what conflict you're in. I, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's plenty of conflict. There's just go on social media, go wherever you want to go. You're going to find conflict. But how do we be, become peacemakers, right? How do we how do we reflect the heart of God and show that we are sons and daughters of God, uh, and 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 not walk into peacekeeping, but move ourselves to to peacemaking as Jesus made peace, restored shalom for us. Let's go and do the same. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.